All right, so like I said, our next topic is going to be about the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Got delayed again. Um, so it's actually getting pushed back until 2021, which we were just saying it was supposed to be the first you know, dabble our first taste of the MCU on Disney Plus, which Disney Plus really dropped the ball when they came out too. I just got to rant on this for a minute because this thing came out, okay? Like I got Disney Plus, I got it for free, thankfully, through Verizon, right? So I haven't had to pay for it. But it comes out, everybody got it for The Mandalorian, yeah, right? Yeah. And sure. they had nothing. Nothing new has come out since. Like, and the things that they've put out don't count. Like, they have these little, these little one-off shows, like the Jeff Goldblum show, like which is fine, like you know, goes around and does stuff, whatever. Then they have like shop class with Justin Long, like show, like very low budget shows that are just like pretty much like documentary style. Shows. You know, they're just like they're not really shows. Like well, there's no incentive for it. Disney Plus needed to have, like, they needed to have Mandalorian, and then literally like a week or a month later, drop Falcon Winter Soldier. That's what should have happened. Give people the kids when the Mandalorian came out. They since they did it week to week and were smart about it for literally two months. That's all anybody was talking about. Yeah, everyone was talking Mandalorian. Everybody, but then people. So the hype built up for it. So people kept you know people who didn't have Disney Plus went out and got Disney Plus so they could watch Mandalorian. But then once the Mandalorian was over, I'm still waiting. I don't have any content on Disney Plus. <laughs> that's not sorry, but it's, that's not dog shit. Like, the only things they've put on there that's been new has been Artemis Fowl and Mulan, which you have to pay $30 for, which... Yeah, with a membership already. Yeah, which isn't... A, not really that good of a movie. Then, like, it's just... What are they doing? Like, what are they doing? And I know they kind of ran into some, some issues with this, and it should have been out by now, but even so, Mandalorian ended, like... Well, didn't it end, like, last October or something? Like it's been like a year since that show came out, right? Because it didn't Disney. Or did Disney yeah, Plus? I think it was November last November? year. Yeah. So it's been almost a year since the first season of Mandalorian, anyway. So the fact that they didn't have like this something, this anything to just kind of follow it up, it kind of blows my mind. Like, is it just there hasn't been anything on there? Like, yeah, they got the whole library and all that stuff, but that's not the that's not the point of like having a streaming service. Like the catalog well, is not really enough for a lot of people. They did. I mean, not not that this scratches that genre itch, but they did. They did drop Hamilton this summer. They they moved that up from a theatrical that. release to a direct to streaming service, and they also moved. I mean, Hamilton wasn't supposed to drop in theaters until 2021, and they moved that up over a year and brought it straight to the streaming service. So that was a big get for them as far as an original item that came to their their service but but i agree I will yeah give them that. there's, I will there's give them been there has been a drought of of original content coming to the service i'm with you i'm with you <laughs> sorry i have to do something off camera quick turn my ac down real quick. <laughs> uh but no i'm with you i hamilton was their only big get i still haven't watched it i wanted to watch it like i'm not a big Absolutely. song and dance musical man i, I don't no, I'm really not. I, I, there's not one single musical I actually like. No, I, I find what about, those, what about all those times you break in the song and dance on the show here? Yeah, yeah, right? it like... happens all the time. Go back and watch all those videos. <laughs> like, no, no, and I'll tell you what. That's the reason I don't like them though, because it just, it really, it doesn't make any sense to me in my mind. Like people are like, you're having like, there, there was always my least favorite part about all the original Disney classics, like all the animated the ones numbers. even. Yeah, because you're sitting here watching like a movie and you're into the movie, then all of a sudden people start singing. That's not natural. Like nobody just it, breaks into song. Exactly. And dance. It's ridiculous. Like, like, no offense. To, like, I know the movies are good and some of the songs are even good. They're catchy. But yeah, it's just like like I love uh A Whole New World from Aladdin. Hakuna Matata. Yeah, who could yeah, these are all great songs, but Lion King is probably the only one that did I felt like never had too many songs in it. No, they, they, long. it didn't really have a lot. Like it, they were, they kind of worked fine, but like a lot of these other ones, man, like it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, Beauty and the Beast, just, like I mean, it's just this constant. It just yeah. doesn't make any, and then half the time it's like during mid conversation, everyone's in the big dance number and song. It's like, why are these people doing this? Perfectly right now? choreographed. <laughs> yeah, it's like how they have all this like stage and ready. And it was actually it works kind of better in the animated stuff, but in like live action is when like 
it just completely takes me out of the movie because it doesn't make any sense at all. It really then, doesn't. Like, they're just having a conversation and then like someone gets up from the table and starts singing and then like all of a sudden the people in the shop or the restaurant or whatever starts singing and dancing with them it's like how did they plan this like what, how do they have it's like a this? flash mob sort of thing yeah it's, like, sure. it's stupid like i'm sorry i, I think i think the traditional movie musical and i think i think what you're saying is is a is exactly why it doesn't you don't see so many musicals nowadays because a lot of people have that have a hard time making that leap from I'm watching a normal drama, whatever show. And then all of a sudden there's a musical number thrown in. I don't, to mind, be fair, I don't mind Hamilton musical numbers in stuff is, though. It's exactly. a musical. That's through fine. Through. That's fine. Like, it's just like, I think it's like, like La La Land and stuff, you know, like yeah. these things that are dramatic pieces with musical numbers in them. I don't, I don't feel like they actually work well together. Which thank is God. honestly why they like the genre has kind of died. Thank God yeah. they never did that with like the MCU, like Avengers, <laughs> like make right. it like. Well, I mean, they could easily probably do something like that in Wandavision, and it might make yeah. sense. <laughs> they're doing they're doing that with the show next year. Um, Lucifer. Well, Lucifer yeah. is going to have a musical episode. I'm I'm, I'm switching uh, companies here. I'm going great to show. DC. It's great show. Yeah, it's a, such a good show. But when you guys started talking about that, it reminded me when all around the DC fandom stuff, they were talking about how Lucifer is going to have a musical episode next year. They did. Uh, is, do you know if they're having another one or did you watch all the latest season? Because there was I an episode. Not. Oh, was it the one this past? Okay. Maybe it, I, it, it might be that one because there was like a whole episode where uh, like the Maze character, it wasn't like it, the Maze actress. I don't want to spoil anything. But she is like singing and then Lucifer is also singing. It wasn't really a full on musical. It was set up to be that way. Okay. You know, I mean, that's the thing. I know this is completely off topic, unless you Winter Soldier, but <laughs> the musical thing, if it's set up to like be a musical, it's fine. Like, like, like Hamilton is like a musical play. It's fine. That works for yeah. me. Like uh, The Greatest Showman, that's like set up yeah. to be that kind of thing. It's just when like Beauty and the Beast or like Aladdin, it's like this normal ass movie, but then all of a sudden, oh, now we're doing a dance number. That's annoying. Yeah. It's like it's no different than you're watching a live action movie, and then all of a sudden it cuts to animated out of nowhere. Some movies are supposed to do that, like Mary Poppins or something. It's fine. But if you're just watching Infinity War, and then all of a sudden everyone starts breaking out into song or it turns to a cartoon or something, like it doesn't work, man. Like no. it just it kind of ruins things for me. But I'm uh, back to the main topic here back to Falcon <laughs> and Winter Soldier because this is a. Uh, I was really bummed when this one got pushed back and we don't have it yet because Winter Soldier is like one of my favorite MCU characters. And we, I mean, we both, when we did the MCU rankings, we both put this movie, spoiler alert for that video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. We ranked all 23 of the MCU movies. It took like two and a half hours to do it. But we ranked and reviewed them all. And both of us unanimously put Captain America, the Winter Soldier as our number one MCU movie. So. Winter Soldier is obviously one of the reasons, in my opinion, that movie works so well. Because Sebastian Stan just, I don't know, I just love his portrayal as Winter Soldier. I think it's great. So, like, I was really excited, and I liked the dichotomy between um, him and Sam Falcon. I think they have a really good relationship, so I'm just like, I want to see more of that. So, like, I was super, I was just super excited they were actually going to do that, because I was actually worried with how Endgame ended, like, with Cap being gone. Spoilers again. Um, if the, if Sam and Bucky were just pretty much going to go away too, because yeah, like what are you going to do with him now? Like Cap's gone, you know. Well, like, like Cap hands the shield to Falcon. If that movie left you as much as it wrapped up everything. It also left you with plenty of questions about where the characters that are left going to go. And this was, it looked like going to be our first chance to actually get some answers. Um, and I think, I mean, we're going to get to it later, but this is the first year and. A good five or six that we don't have an MCU movie, and um, people are starved. I'm I'm yeah. starved for MCU content. <laughs> it's true. Which which that though Dude. speaks to your point about uh, what you were saying before with like Winter Soldier or Falcon and Winter Soldier, like just making more logical sense to be the first kind of intro into Disney Plus and everything. Because not only does it just kind of have that more MCU vibe, but it quite literally would was picking up after Endgame. So it, it actually, the story-wise, would have flowed a lot better 
And we don't necessarily know how WandaVision, you know, where it's going to pick up. Because, I mean, the way it's kind of being displayed, it could almost be a complete standalone thing and not really answer anything about MCU timeline stuff. Not that everything in the MCU has to answer anything, but, I mean, the, the, the end of Endgame, like you said, just kind of sets up a lot of, that's up a lot of questions as well as like you said, it wrapped everything up in some ways, but there are still a lot of open ended things. And I don't know, Falcon and Winter Soldier would definitely was going to be something that, uh, I don't know, would have bridged that gap a little more because it was supposed to come out in August. So Rick, would have already seen you, it. Rick, do you, uh, do you subscribe to Disney plus? Um, I had a brief subscription for the Mandalorian. I'll probably kick it back up once, uh, Season two starts up, but uh, you know, and you're more you're more into the Star Wars stuff than I, the comic stuff, correct? I am, yeah. <laughs> so, so you're as as someone that is more into the comics, or I'm sorry, the, the Star Wars stuff than the comic stuff. Does does this move the needle for you at all? Does this do, do you have? Do, are these shows incentive enough for you to? I would either say so. keep sign back up for a disney plus because i'm just i'm really curious yeah once they do start coming out if they're going to move the needle for people that are Uh, like you that maybe i would say so yeah um you know it's definitely more interesting content that you can watch and it's been a little dry on there obviously but uh to me the more the better and especially if they kind of dive into like the whole story of like you know winter soldier falcon and all that i think that'd be pretty cool I mean, Winter Soldier. We too. We got. We got these pics of him with his with his new vibranium arm here from uh, the set. So, oh, mm. look at him! He's just cheesing. The guy in the background's like, "Why are you taking a picture of me?" <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just good news though, because like they're at least getting this damn thing wrapped up. Yeah, like because like this. Like I said, Winter Soldier. Like, dude, I love too that this is like that practical. Arm looks crazy. No, oh, no, I love that it's practical. I mean, like, it like actually looks good. Like, mm-hmm. it, looks, it looks pretty damn good. Like, as a practice. I wonder what they like made it out of because it looks like there's no like joint to it or anything. It's just like solid. Maybe I'm it's, like, curious what it's made out of too. It's probably just like latex rubber. Almost. Yeah, some form of it. Who knows? It looks great though, honestly. Because yeah. I mean, it, it's cool that they were actually able to do something practical, so they didn't have to worry too much about CGI stuff. It's always good. I don't know. So that's there's that. But uh, yeah, I I'm I'm just in the end. I just want to see this damn. Show. <laughs> so and now we have to wait till 2021. So yeah. But that being said, what do you guys think? Are you guys disappointed that you know Falcon and Winter Soldier is getting pushed back? Because I am. Like I said, Winter Soldier is probably at this point probably one of my favorite characters actually in the MCU. I think that he actually has a lot of potential to actually be. He said very, unlike a lot of other MCU characters, surprisingly, even with him being a side character, I feel like he's actually had far more character growth than a lot of these people who have had their own standalone movie. So that's one of the things that I don't know. Just, I kind of, I find him compelling in that way. So it's, I don't know, it's the anti-heroes are always, I don't know, they're always far more interesting in a lot of ways. So whatever you guys think, just let us know down in the comment section below. <laughs>